Roger coming to you from Brick House Guitars in Kitchener, Ontario. And today, rather than show you a guitar, I wanted to show you and teach you a little bit about my fingernails because I get asked regularly, what type of nails do you have? And, uh, and boy, I've been in search for years and years for a proper nail solution because for finger style with steel strings, you know, I personally need to have proper nails. And uh, boy, I just, you know, I've not had a great experience with acrylic nails. And this solution for me now is something that I'm very happy with. And I will teach you all about it. And I hope it's helpful for some of you. Cheers. And these are my uh, answer to fingernails for my finger style guitar playing. And I'm going to, I've had several requests. And so I'm going to show you how I make these. And as you can see, uh, this one is kind of worn down um, uh, after probably maybe two months of playing I've definitely chewed this one up and this one is getting the same this one I can probably still keep so these nails are actually made with full press on uh, fingernails that are actually quite thin and flexible um, and I got them on Amazon I'll put a link and I end up, like, they're made to be glued on. They full, they cover in full, you know, they cover full. And then you normally put acrylic gel or something over it to make them harder. What I end up doing is I actually put, I find two sizes that fit together really well. And I end up super gluing them together and they go on uh, and double up. And then I just shape them and I use them that way. And I usually get, like, close to two months uh, out of them. Um, at least this one here is probably six months old because it doesn't do all the heavy lifting. It's my this finger here um, So I'm going to show you how I do that I'll I'll start with this one who is the worst offender right now and and I'll show you how I um, Go about getting these nails on and off. In fact, maybe now is as good a time as ever you'll see no glue that just came off and uh, This one has been glued on probably for maybe a week, week and a half. I usually, it's not glued. These are jelly glue something strips. They're non-toxic and they basically peel off and you put them on, press the nail on and you can take your showers, wash your hands all you want. And I've never had one come off, um, um, at least not for days and even weeks. Um, that in mind, you know, if you're fussy, you could actually, it's fast enough to do this uh, where you could actually be keeping your nails and taking them on in the morning and put them off at night or just for even your guitar playing session. You could actually take five, less than 10 minutes anyways and put your nails on and off. You know, it's that easy. The beautiful thing with this is that is your nail does not get all chewed up and, 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 and thin uh, and destroyed by putting acrylic or super glue on your nail. Your nail stays really healthy and hard and, and firm. Um, of course, what I do is uh, I keep my nail trimmed, you know, clipped right up to the end. <clears throat> I don't have anything overhanging. I don't need to. And then before I would glue on or stick on a next nail, I would wash my hand, my nail quite well, like scrub it with this dishwashing soap and make sure it's oil free and dry. And with that and these little strips, the adhesion is absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe it at first. I was very skeptical, but man, I am never going back to super glue. I can promise you that. So I'm gonna go wash my hand and then I'm gonna start working on this replacement nail here. All right, so now I've got my nail all nice and oil free and cleaned up. And um, as you can see here, I have different size nails. They, and they come in, oh geez, I think there's like 500 pieces or something for less than 10 bucks. So I'll have nails for quite a while. Again, they're on Amazon, I'll give you the link. Um, and they are quite, quite flexible. You can see here, they, you know, that one would not be enough for playing steel string guitar. Um, but the beauty of having it flexible is that when you, uh, when you press down, it'll actually take and put some pressure, it'll actually mold to the shape of your nail, right? Which is important. Um, and so I found 
one size here that's number three that fits really nicely. That's just the perfect size. And then the next one up is number two that's larger and it fits right over the top. You can see. So when I, when I glue them together, they're actually going to make a nice, strong, sturdy nail. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is, is make sure that you, you put this first one on and that it's, it's adhering really nicely to the shape of your uh, nail. So, um, I'm going to take a fresh strip here and you try to find the largest size you can to cover as much of the nail as possible. So this one looks good. I'll take this here and you can see I am placing it as, as carefully as I can into the center of my nail. And once I've done that, I work it in really good. Like, I just want to make sure that it's it's really going to sort of work its way into the surface of my nail. And then there's a little tab on these, which are very practical. Pull that off. Take the nail. Put it towards the back kind of where you want it. You can even see the glue, right? When I pressed, you see how that, it's, it's getting the glue. And again, this is completely non-toxic. At least that's what the, the product says. And um, of course, if you've ever had any issues, then don't use them. <laughs> but I have not had any issues whatsoever. It's been great. So, and then I, you know, push down pretty hard just try and make sure that that's really nicely in place. So there you go. You can see probably where the glue is coming through on that, right? So the next step is to glue this one on. This is the one size up and you can see that's going to overlap. And if it overlaps a little too much, um, it doesn't matter because you can take the nail off after and shape it and make it, make it nice and clean and polished. Um, and this is um, fingernail glue. It's not super glue, but I guess it's basically the same thing. It's drip proof. And I found this just at my local pharmacy. It happens to be called Beauty Secrets. Um, so you can put it on here. Actually, I think it's smarter just to put it on this way. You can see I can shuffle it around, but on fairly generously. And then we're going to take that and we're going to put it on top. Okay. But that's going to be good. I just squeeze it everywhere. Now, what I have here is it's all nicely doubled up. And that is strong enough now and rigid enough to, to handle my steel string guitar playing. And I can shape it and probably get close to two months out of it. And I could take them on and off as often as I want, every day if I wanted to. Just put a new little strip, put it right back on. And so as it grows out, usually within a week, it'll, you know, like you can see here, this has been on maybe a week and a half. You can see how this is starting to, starting to grow out, right? You can see that there, right? So if I, if this nail was still good, I'd pull it off and just put it right back on, but in its original spot. So now what I can do is I can trim some of this off. And that's just completely up to you what your preference is. And of course, you can take your file. You can see here. You 
and how you shape the form that's really up to you um, some people like to have it slanted one way or another depending on your, your you know the angle at which you play um, once you found the shape that you like um, get yourself some sandpaper this is 600 Okay, and then I usually build up, but um, here's an 800. And that's just because more of a buffing thing in the end. And uh, this is like 2,000. <laughs> um, and once you've done that, You've got yourself a, a real nice, smooth, very smooth, polished surface. And you get a really good tone. Like it feels like a, like a really good sort of prime tone pick or something like that. It's It's got a just a real nice smooth to it. And doesn't sound, you know, sometimes I've had this hard acrylic that I put on and it just sounds too glass-like. And this doesn't give me glass tone. It just gives me a nice, smooth, polished tone. So I really like it. And I love the fact that it can come on and off at will. If I was going to a special party or something, I didn't want to have these beautiful nails to show off. I would just pull them off. And, and then the next morning, I would take five minutes and put them back on. So there you go. Um, same process for the three others. Um, haven't come up with a good solution for thumb yet. I love using my thumbnail, but I, you know, it's starting to grow back, but it seems every time I grow back my thumbnail, it breaks off. But, um, so I'm kind of gotten used to using, uh, what I use now as a black mountain thumb pick, the red one. Um, but, um, when I have the luxury of having my thumbnail, I use that quite a bit as well. So there you go. That is, uh, how I do my nails and I will, uh, post the links to, um, the nails and the, uh, the glue tabs uh, for you to check out and hey if this helps um, you know my pleasure and and please subscribe to the Brickhouse um, Guitars uh, YouTube channel um, every subscription helps so thank you very much for listening cheers well I hope you found that helpful let me know I'd love to hear from you if you try that and if it works for you uh, please do I, I really appreciate the feedback cheers